It was our first night in the so-called forbidden place, not in a camping site or any other allowed place, but uh, right here in the wild. We felt fantastic here. We were close to nature under the star-filled sky surrounded by trees and brushwood, as well as animals which were jumping around and maturing to each other. There is no sense in crossing the dumb desert, because here it is plus 42 degrees with some trees around. But we are dying. It will be plus 45 there, without trees and anyone around for 200-300 kilometers. There is nothing interesting there. And flies! Sorry. Go and hitch a car. Maybe someone will stop. One car for the last 10 minutes. Oh, the flies. Just a catastrophe. Stop panicking, Kvitka. Everything will be okay. I'm not panicking, Volo. It's just sober reflection. We hitched the police. They said, what the fuck, you are cycling in this hot weather. They told us about upcoming truck and suggested hitching it. Here it goes. It's a catastrophe. You just cannot imagine the number of these flies. Evil hour. It's a wonderful protection from flies. We need to buy some kind of net. Australia became notorious for us not only for its stifling heat, but also for these annoying flies. They are not as big as in Ukraine, but rather small, and they are getting everywhere – into nose, into ears, into eyes, into mouth. What the hell? As you can see, I've put on this stuff because I cannot stand it anymore. I'm going into hysterics. Today we are spending the night in brushwood, because we don't want to pay $20 and camping sites. No way. We are staying right here in the burnt Australian jungles. No, not jungles. How do they call them here? Bush. So we will spend the night amidst burnt bush and flies. Oh, it's so hard to travel in the northern Australia. The places are beautiful, but travel is very hard. Exhausting. Plus 40, 42 degrees during day. Unbelievable. Actually, we don't have any choice but to stay right here in this burned brushwood. Camping sites requiring payment are unsuitable for us. It's rather difficult to find a place for a tent because there are often signs with a crossed tent. Rules are strict in Australia. We were lucky to hitch Brian on a truck today. What the right word for it? Road train. He gave us a lift. There was an air conditioner inside. Otherwise, we would die. Heat, dryness and flies. Yeah, flies. They are unique. Just a little drive in the road train. Yeah. <laughs> 